Welcome back to another Pro Clubs video. I'm going to show you the best cam build to start on EAFC 25. As always, if you enjoy the content, please hit that red button below the video, closing in on 250,000 subscribers, and leave a like because that always helps us massively. These builds should be shared with your teammates. We've got one for every position coming to the channel. The most effective OP builds to dominate on Pro Clubs, and now Rush. Rush, you've won my heart. I love it. So I played six games with 12 goals, seven assists, with a 9.5 average match rating. I played a lot more games in Rush than I have on clubs at this early stage of the game. The game isn't even officially out at the time of recording this. You can see I play 5'8", 99 pounds. I'll show you more in depth as to why. I don't want you guys to be putting yourself in a cam setup, okay? When you play in cam, your stats are terrible. You're slower. You're worse in front of goal. You're, everything is just terrible. Your passing's better. I'll give you that. Unless you play a very specific style of pro clubs where you're playing the ball over the top, which in our experience has not worked at all in this EAFC game cycle, your passing stats can level slower. You want to focus on your speed, your dribbling, your ball control, and definitely your shooting. And for those reasons, I would put myself into the left wing or right wing slot. I just don't think there's any point in playing in a cam set up it's been the same for years so don't do it and actually if i'm being honest it's normally the sign of a bad build or a bad player if i see a cam because i'm like they don't know what they're doing it's not your fault because i get that you would think i should play in cam but it's just a pointless thing to do i set myself at 5 8 a little bit taller than the striker setup build i've done if you've not seen that send it to your teammates if you want to see the video it's popping up on the screen obviously we've done a starting striker build i play a little bit taller to have that little bit more strength and size, it doesn't make much of a difference. It's probably, if anything, just in my head, but that's how I'd set up in the cam position, and I'd play 99 pounds. The lightest you can go so that you're nice and agile and your dribbling is already really high. You start with, like, high 80s dribbling in this build, so I think it's the way to go, and that's basically because of the left wing or right wing. You're going to get so many more stats in the agility and in the dribbling and in everything that's going to help you balance wise and all those things are great in left wing as well balance ball control so stick in the left wing slot trust me guys so coming into the attributes i'm level 36 this is what it's looking like but let me just strip it back for you to if you had literally just loaded up this game for the first time where i would and where i did allocate my skill points this is pretty much how it was looking after I put the first 10 skill points in. So I had two in the acceleration. Like I said, you want to build that up. 86 acceleration is more than decent to start off the game with. A weak foot is a problem. A two star weak foot, guys, is not what you want. Now you have to spend a lot of skill points on this game cycle to get your weak foot up. You got to put three in there, five in there, and I think 10 more to get a five star weak foot now i wouldn't allocate that many at first but i think getting a three star is going to help you massively so give yourself a three star weak foot to start off with you're going to have a spare skill point that you can probably put into that short passing to get it up at the start of the game as well and then my other two are going to be in the dribbling tabs dribbling focus and ball control focus maximize your ability to control the ball does all the obvious things and maximize the speed at which you change directions when dribbling you can spend skill points pretty quickly and get yourself up to like 99 dribbling and in fact you can waste skill points on this game cycle you can have more than 99 dribbling don't ask me how that works but just look at the stat in the bottom right we've got 98 plus 2 we stay at 99 so technically got 100 dribbling i don't really understand what's the point in that maybe you would deallocate this as you move down that skill tree let's just keep that in for now and i'll show you quickly where i would put these extra 50 skill points they would be focused into these dribbling and attack well not attack positioning because you position yourself but a lot more thought now has to go into where you allocate because like i said you could end up with like 105 dribbling you're not going to get that stat it's going to cap at 99 and you're going to waste skill points on this particular one here you can select three into dribbling focus or you can come down here and get the same thing and get plus four for dribbling so you obviously want to go into that tab there a lot of these skill trees are the same so you can put the dribbling focus in there to get plus four two agility plus two dribbling or you can do the same thing at the bottom of the skill tree it really makes no difference but at this stage a third of the way through the leveling i would try and just have an even spread between ball control trying to avoid the attack positions you're going to need some of them but obviously you position yourself and i really don't think there's any use in that if you are a player that uses skill moves then you're gonna have to sacrifice 10 skill points to get well actually 12 skill points to get five star skills on this game cycle and then i wouldn't focus on the agility tab right now with 30 skill points left you've got 
96, 95 agility. That's more than enough at this stage of the game. Passing and shooting wise, like I said, we're giving ourselves that three star weak foot. I'd probably move in to get a four star weak foot as soon as possible. And then pace wise, you just want to build it up for me. You want to be getting as high on the pace stats as possible so that you can just sprint past all of these terrible CPU players. I'd probably focus more on acceleration than sprint speed at this early stage of the game. Allocating skill points, we got three left over. And for me personally, the short passing does my head in when a little X pass across the goal doesn't work. So I'd probably want to build that up as much as I can. Up to 84 there. And with your fair allocated skill point, I'd probably come in and put it into the finishing just to build it up to a nice 79. It's not the highest finishing. You're going to be able to build it up. I just think in the first third of leveling, it wouldn't be my main focus in the early stages to whack skill points into finishing as I can. Just not something I think is that necessary. Coming into the play styles, it's really, really important this year that you consider that in your club settings, in the facilities, you can now attach play styles to your club, which includes your CPU and you. So let me show you what I mean by that. If I come down to this new, slightly confusing menu system and enter the facilities, I can show you guys where we have allocated our budget, our new budget. It's gone towards the agility poles. And apparently some agility poles give you the tricks to trade. And the tricks to trade is fun because we can all do some skill moves with it. It's great for rush. But you also get plus five agility, plus five dribbling, and that tricks to trait, which gives you the all-important new fake shot, where you almost do like a ball roll instead of this long, clanky fake shot that we've seen across all the game titles for years in the past. EFC 25 have given us a beautiful little fake shot, which will beat most players when dribbling, if you just do it quickly, especially if you're playing against someone else, if there's an any controlling it, it seems to completely fool them. So Trickster is going to be applied to that club facilities and not the pro. When I come back into my pro, I'll show you the play styles that I have allocated. It is the gold Tiki Taka, but for those of you who are new and first starting off, you're going to be thinking, I don't have a gold yet. You've got to get to level 20, I think it is, to unlock that. My first two were the Tiki Taka in the silver playstyle with Quick Step. Quick Step gives you that faster acceleration. And if you don't know, hold L1 just before you sprint, release it, and hold down R2. Everybody in EAFC 25 has been talking about it. It's going to get patched. You get this crazy speed boost that you're seeing on screen right now, which will just burst you away from the defenders and makes it impossible to be tackled. So Quick Step and Tiki Taka were in my silver, but obviously as I've leveled up a little bit, I've put Tiki Taka Plus on, which gives you difficult first time ground passes executed with greater accuracy and you can use back heels and little skill passes, which I think are always fun. Short distance ground passes are exceptionally accurate. We'll find out about that, but they are way better with Tiki Taka Plus and I was finding so many short passes in the early stages of this game were terrible. The rest of my skill play styles have been allocated to Finesse Shot and Travella for shooting. Outside of the boot, Finesse Shots, we're going to take shots on the edge of the box in cam. Finesse Shots are very good. And if you can green time on EAFC 25, that's a skill that's worth doing. You're going to score so many more goals. Technical, which reaches a higher speed when performing controlled sprint and turns. Effectively, your dribbling is just amazing. We're already at 99 dribbling. And with that on, you just can't be stopped and you can't be tackled. I can do circles around the box in rush and no one can get near me. And then, of course, the rapid reaches a higher sprint speed whilst dribbling. Why would you not want that? You need to be as quick as possible on this game. Unfortunately, the CPUs are quite quick as, as well, so they're going to catch up to you. So the more speed you've got, the better. And really, guys, that is it for a starting build. I said you can play 5'6", five 5'7", five 5'8". It doesn't matter too much on the exact height, but keep that weight down. Don't play in the cam position. Copy these play styles exactly using a left wing or a right wing setup, and you should have a good start to EAFC 25. If you've enjoyed this video, please Please leave a like, subscribe to the Home of Pro Clubs, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Share these builds with all your teammates because they, they, prob they probably need them.